Okay. Good afternoon. So first, thank you everybody for being here. Um, obviously, we're here today to announce the third and what we believe is the final arrest in everybody who had a part in the death and disappearance of Alani Lenore back in August of 2022. Um, this case was, it was complicated. It was a lot of work. Um, I know it took a long time, um, but I am extremely proud and grateful to have a team behind me and Lieutenant Smith, who was our homicide commander, um, Lieutenant Brandon Pitts, who is our fugitive commander. Um, we followed up on every single lead that came in. And with this case in particular, we were, we were vocal. We talked to you guys, we talked to the community, and we did that in hopes of receiving tips. And we followed up on each and every one of those. Uh, but I think the most important person in the room today is Ms. Jackson. Uh, Ms. Jackson is the mother of Alani Lenore. Um, and she has been really a staple in this investigation, her strength, her courage, her commitment, and being a voice for her daughter this whole time um, has been commendable. So I thank you for everything you've done, and I thank you for your patience with this organization um, as we work through this case. So on June 1st of this year, um, the Georgia Department of Natural Resources uh, made the third and final arrest for us. Uh, they were out patrolling on Lake Altoona when they noticed a personal watercraft. Uh, the occupant or the driver of that vessel was driving too fast in an awake zone, so they went and initiated a stop. They made contact with Stephen. He gave a false name. Uh, during their interaction, he actually fled, so it was a type of a boat chase. Uh, it ran up on shore, which led to a foot chase and ultimately the apprehension. Um, during that apprehension, they investigated and were able to discover that he did not give a truthful name and that he was indeed Stephen Abote and he was wanted for this case. So um, our, our gratitude is to the uh, DNR for their work in helping us uh, bring this to somewhat of a conclusion. But from day one, our objective has been to locate and return Alanya. And that is more true today than, than ever before. That is our goal. It is our belief that somebody out there knows, somebody knows where she is, and we would plead with that individual to come forward. Uh, not for this police department, not for any agency, uh, but for Ms. Jackson and her family. That is the only way that they can get even a sliver of closure in this case. So before I turn it over to Ms. Jackson, are there any questions? Please keep in mind, uh, our next step in this is litigation, so we won't go into a lot of the investigative steps. We've covered some of those in the past, but. So it's been nearly two years. You guys named him as a suspect back in August, September of 2022, and you guys weren't the ones who even made this arrest. Uh, you said you were proud, extremely proud and grateful for the investigators on this, but you guys weren't even the ones who arrested him. Why weren't you guys able to find him in those two years? Well, 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 with any fugitive investigation, they're, they're unique, just like a homicide investigation. Uh, I'm very proud of our fugitive unit. We made two of the arrests in this case very quickly, uh, and that's, that matters. That's important. Uh, but as I said, every case is different. Uh, people have different means to go places. We receive different tips. Um, so it is never from a lack of effort. These guys worked around the clock. They followed up on every single lead. But I am grateful that he's off the street, whether it was our organization that made the arrest or any organization throughout this country. Uh, the bottom line is he is in custody and he will have to face the consequences of his actions. When do you expect him back here in Fulton County? So, so he's facing charges right now in Bartow County. Once those charges are cleared, then he'll be brought to Fulton County. Are you hopeful that the third suspect will help bring answers about where she might be? Yeah, we're hopeful on, on every, every little lead we get. We're hopeful we're going to follow up on that. Uh, we have had a conversation with him in the past, which he requested counsel and would not cooperate. Uh, but we will certainly make every attempt possible. And that is our end game from day one, is to find her and bring her home. Yeah, no, that I could not be any more proud of, of this team behind me. From day one, when Alani was a missing person, we jumped on that. We were able to locate where she was last seen. Uh, and this thing started to escalate quickly, and it was because of, of the work of the men and women behind me that we were able to rapidly find out that something was uh, not normal, that this was foul play. At that point, we turned it over to our homicide team, and uh, pretty quickly we were able to make two arrests in the case. When you knew early on that she was 
with some friends before this happened. How confident are you guys that no one else was involved? We're, we're fairly confident at this point. Um, but again, anything that comes forward it is open game. We will investigate everything. But as of right now, we do believe everybody that is responsible for this is in custody. And how are you sure? Is it based on evidence? Interviews? Yeah, so totality of everything. This has been almost a two-year investigation. So we've done we've done a lot. Uh, it was all three of them. It was all three of them. They all played a role, and it was that totality of those roles that led to where, where we are right now and why I'm even standing up here. There was a little bit of delay in when she went missing and when police actually put out the missing persons report. Is that a normal amount of time, or is that average, or why was there a little bit of a delay there? So, no, that, that went out pretty quick. Um, each case is different. We have to investigate it, find out what happened, where we believe this individual went, uh, and that's what we did. And we were able to find out pretty quickly the apartment complex in which she was she was last at. How sad is it that you guys are able to make arrests with uh, like out, without finding the body? That must be difficult to kind of pin it on. Yeah, it, it, it certainly is challenging, uh, but that's why we have a phenomenal team of homicide investigators. They're experienced and they're and they're able to pull these cases together. So with that, I'm going to turn it over to Miss Jackson. And again, I think what she has to say is extremely important, more important than anything I could say. So, Ms. Jackson. Good afternoon. I just want to really take time to plea right now. I know you guys have been hearing from me everywhere. But I really just want to speak to Stephen and the people who have been helping him evade. Um, just giving my daughter back. There is no doubt that these people had my daughter. And there, I know we, we're not talking about the case, but they have done a lot of investigating. I want to say that if um, at this point, Stephen, if there's anything in you left that's human, to please just tell me where my daughter is and we can lay her to rest. And for those of you who have been helping him, this is not one of those things where a mistake. This was intentional. And you'll get to see that when court comes out that none of the things that these people did were by accident. I do want to say that um, I know that um, a lot of times people don't get coverage and I am so grateful to all of you and some of you even more because you did investigate and help me investigate and you listened to my stories and you pushed and potentially, um, you know, made sure that my daughter wasn't forgot about. And so I wanted to thank all of you for not forgetting Alani. And my family wants to thank you too. <laughs>